Salem High School Gymnasium. Stan Stevens along with Krista and Stacy. We're gonna have a good time tonight. Tar Tigers take on the Kabul Bulldogs first SCA game of the year. And that should be a good one. If it's anything like the JV game, which went double overtime, the fans will definitely get their money's worth here tonight. Salem coming in with a 2-13 record, lost to Kabul back in that Christmas tournament, 65 to 56. And they would really like to uh, turn the tables around on them right here at home because this is, of course, a, a very senior-laden Kabul team. That's what led them to win over there at Kabul in that Christmas tournament. They used their experience. Tigers came out a little sluggish. They got a 10-point lead at halftime. Salem got to within two. Can never get back uh, to a tie game. And uh, finally lost by, at the free throw line, really. And finally lost by a score of 65 to 56. So the Salem Tigers will start out a younger team again, They're just like they did against the Steelville Cardinals. They're starting out Easton Bay along with Garrett Connell, Gunnar Conkle. And uh, also in the starting lineup will be Colin Haven. And the last one in the lineup to start will be Levi Smith. They'll go up against Peyton Byerly. He is uh, going to be centering it out today. And then Quincy Flanagan, their point guard. They also have starting out for Kabul tonight, Logan Primison, Trevor Atkins, and Jacob Shockley. All seniors for Kabul, all underclassmen for the Salem Tigers. So we're about ready to get this one underway. Thank you for joining us on KSMO Media. We appreciate you being along for the ride and enjoy the game tonight between these two SCA rivals. Real quick reminder, don't forget Fairground Auto Plaza. It's giving you a fast and convenient way to find a car, truck, van, or SUV. Go to fairgroundgm.com. Fairground Auto Plaza, driven to serve you best, where Chevy finds new roads. And we're ready to get this one underway. It'll be Byerly versus Connell. Connell can't get it. It comes back to Haven, though, on the tip. Haven off to May. May in the baseline, seven-footer. Good. Salem Tigers, after seven seconds, take a 2-0 lead. Back on the blue-clad Kabul Bulldogs. That's kind of like called a deep ocean blue. I don't really know what the name of it is, but it's about as close as I can get it. Prinzon brings it up to Trevor Atkins. Atkins trying to drive in, kicks the right side low to Flanagan. His three gets the shooter's bounce. Hits the rim off the backboard and in, and it's a 3-2 Kabul lead. Gunnar Conkle flips it down to Smith. Levi with a three-pointer, it's up off the rim, no good. Captured underneath the basket by number 23, Trevor Atkins. Atkins all the way down, quickly to Flanagan in the corner. Out on top, the three for Shockley, won't go. Connell with a rebound for the Salem Tigers. Back comes Gunnar Conkley, slows it down a little bit as he gets to the timeline, as it seems like we're in a track meet here to start this game out. Haven across to Connell. Connell to the paint, jump shot, no good, but he is fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two as he draws the foul on Greg Stone. I'm sorry, Jacob Shockley is in the number 33 instead of 30. So Connell to the line, first free throws of the game. First one is good. Tigers in their white uniforms, the Navy, I'll call it trim on the shorts and in the uh, Shirts under the armpits. That one no good. It's taken down and brought back by Byerly the other way. The Shockley left side pass to Primazon. Primazon bounce pass inside. A foul is going to be called underneath. Pass to Trevor Atkins. And I believe Levi Smith is going to get called for the foul on the reach in. That is the call. That is an on the floor foul. He inbounded to Primazon, back to Flanagan. Flanagan goes back in the corner. Barley with a three, it's good. The Bull can shoot. They've got some excellent shooters from three, and they like to drive the lane as well. Conkle the other way to Smith, back to Conkle. 6-3, Kabul on top. Left side pass to Garrett Conkle, all the way across to Levi Smith, right on the perimeter. Smith, can to get away from Flanagan, back to Conkle. Connell looking inside down low, nothing there, now to May. Easton has the ball stripped away and it's taken by 
The Kabul Bulldogs permits on all the way down with a layup, no good, but he is fouled. And he'll shoot two. First turnover of the game by the Salem Tigers. And Logan Primenson will go to the free throw line. Second foul on Levi Smith. He's quickly in a bad position as the free throw is good. And Braden Carmack will have to come in the game and get Levi out of there. That second free throw is no good. And Connell has that one. Salem down by four here early in this first quarter. Six minutes still to go. Conkle to the timeline, slides, he'll walk with it. Gunner looked up, saw three Kabul Bulldogs and tried to come to a halt. Foot slid and that's a turnover. Smith checks out, Carmack in. Byerly to inbound it. Payton looks into the offensive zone. Stead goes to Primenson back in the defensive side. 7-4 Bulldogs on top. Primenson trying to drive all the way down, does, lays it up and in. Tigers cleared out the lane and Logan just drove it right into the paint. Here's Carmack trying to get away from three Bulldogs, quickly down to Gunnar Conkle. Gunnar, his high jumping shot off the rim, no good. And a foul's gonna be called, I believe on Haven. So it'll be Colin Haven that picks up that foul even though Byerly actually slapped the hand of the Tiger player. So Haven with a foul, Salem now with three team fouls. As Primenzon brings it up, 5.31 to go in this first quarter, 9-3, and a long three is short, comes down into the hands of Byerly. Byerly gets it to Flanagan. Flanagan is pushed there by the Tiger player, and he will inbound the ball from the baseline. I believe Gunnar Conkle will be charged with that, or it could be Garrett Connell, either one. And they're gonna give it to Connell. So Morrison in the game. Byerly flips it in to Primenson on the perimeter. Out way on top. Thinking about the three, it was Shockley and Shockley tries to drive in, instead walks with the ball. First turnover by the Bulldogs and the Salem Tigers. We'll have what I'll kind of call what they call a collapsing press because they collapse on the guy right at the timeline, trying to force him, like right there. Gunnar Conkle goes right between them. If you're watching on the stream, here's Carmack from nine, his shot is good. Braden Carmack from the baseline with a nice jumper. Salem within four. Primazon brings it the other way. Primazon trying to drive in, will hand it off to Flanagan. Flanagan goes outside to Shockley for the three, it's good. Jacob Shockley set up nicely by Quincy Flanagan and that's a 12-5 Kabul lead. Conkle back to, to Connell. Now back to Conkle off the pass from May. He goes right between the circles to Connell. Right side, Braden Carmack. Across it goes to Gunnar Conkle. Gunnar back outside to May. Easton trying to drive in. And three-second violation called on Morrison. Tigers turnover is their third. Flanagan will check out coming into ball game for the Bulldogs will be Josh Shockley. He'll make his first appearance. Also, nope, that's it. That's the only one coming in. Pass goes in the corner. Trying to drive in is Atkins. Atkins down to Shockley. Missed it. Conkle brings it down. He's bumped there, but no foul. Gunner stops, gives it back to Garrett Connell. Connell with four minutes, five seconds to go in his first quarter. 12-5, Kabul. Here's Carmack, Braden, flips it right on top to Easton May. Inside to Morrison, outside to Connell for a three, it's good. Garrett Connell hits the three. Tigers within four again, with 3.50 to go in this first quarter. Primazon for the Kabul Bulldogs into the offensive zone. Logan looks to his right, gives it over there. Waiting for it there is Byerly, now goes into the corner to Atkins, back to Byerly. Byerly on the right wing. Goes on top to Shockley. Shockley goes in the corner to Jacob Shockley. Got Josh and Jacob out there both. Jacob is the super big one. Ball tipped out of his hands by Carmack, but it comes back to the Bulldogs. Turning with it to Shockley. Kicks it outside to Primazon. Out on top, Barley. Giving it down low to Jacob Shockley. 
Kicking it back to Primazon to the paint. Outside, Byerly alone for the three. It's off the iron, no good. Tip brought down by Morrison. And there'll be a possession arrow favoring Kabul. Josh pulled that away, but they didn't call it uh, with a hand right in, inside his, uh, against his chest. And they call that a possession arrow. Favoring the Bulldogs here as Barley trying to get it in. Does the Primazon in the corner. He kicks it out on top to Shockley. And Shockley trying to drive in. Can't and then walks with the ball. His second travel in this first quarter with 3.01 to go. Salem down by four. Connell into Carmack quickly to Cockle. Cockle turns back to Braden Carmack down the right wing. He gets trapped, looking for some help. And travel called on Braden Carmack. Tigers fourth turnover. With 2.54 to go. Progressive Ozark Bank is a community-focused financial organization serving Salem, Licking, Houston, Hartville, and Mountain Grove. Let them be of assistance to you. Stop by Progressive at 904 Scenic Earth Boulevard West or call 729-4146. Pass intended in the corner for Atkins, tipped away by Connell. Stays with the Bulldogs. They'll have that ball just off the edge of the Salem Tiger bench. Byerly. Looking to try and get it in, flips it back to Primazon out near center court. Primazon guarded by Carmack. Goes back to Byerly. Byerly all the way across to Shockley. Josh Shockley goes back to Primazon. In the corner to Jacob Shockley to, jo to Primazon for the three. It's short. Comes down underneath and missing that shot was Atkins. Brought down by Carmack for Salem off to Conkle. Conkle back to Braden. Uh, ball tipped and tipped by Connell. Taken there by Conkle in the corner, May. May inside to Morrison. Morrison turns, spins, and trying to put it up, but a foul called on Kabul. Real value is more than a fair price. It's quality service, experience, and a convenience. That's what you get at Napa Auto Parts right here in Salem. At 604 East Scenic Girls Boulevard, call them at 729-4156. Locally owned since 1946. 2.15 to go first quarter. The inbound comes to Carmack trying to bank it in. It wedges up against the rim. The ball will belong to the Bulldogs. Nope, they're going to say possession arrow favoring Salem this time. Forgot about that change over there earlier. Gunner Coggle to inbound it to Carmack from 12. Way too hard. Comes down in the hands of Atkins and Easton May is on the other end to foul him. Fifth team foul for Salem here in the first quarter. And that's May's first. Atkins was trying to turn up court quickly and Easton was just standing there and he ran right into him. But Easton gets the foul. Primazon to Shockley. Jacob to Josh. Down low goes to Primazon. He lays it in. But an old two foot jump shot. Primazon with five here in this first quarter. Ball loose on the floor comes to May. Minute 35 to go. May down the right side to Conkle into Morrison outside to Connell. Left side, Carmack. Carmack all the way across to Conkle for the three. Pinballs around, will not go down. And a foul called on Tigers, I believe, on Morrison for going over the back. That is a six team foul for Salem. And Kabul will be in the bonus the rest of the first half. Minute 20 to go. We're in the first quarter. 14-8 Bulldogs. Primazon to Shockley. Shockley to Shockley. To Primazon from seven. It's off the iron. No good. Connell brings it down. He's fouled there by Kabul. A reach-in foul. Garrett getting his third rebound. And it's going to be called on Jacob Shockley, his second. Tigers May to Conkle. Conkle in the offensive zone. To the corner on the right side. Back to Easton May. Back to Conkle. Conkle out between the circles now. 
will reset the play with under a minute to go. Hands it off to Morrison. Morrison back to Conkle, down low. Goes to Carmack, jumper from the corner, no good. Tipped and brought down by Flanagan. Flanagan to Primazon all the way down, lays it up and in. Salem misses, Kabul gets it. 16-8 score. Here's Conkle. Back to Carmack, trying to go low. Carmack, down pass inside to Morrison. Morrison can't handle it. Stolen away by the Bulldogs. Another foul on Salem. And that one will be on Morrison, his second. So the Tigers are running into foul trouble here early on in this game. Ball was bouncing around in between Morrison and two other Kabul players. Tried to reach for it and ended up with a foul. To the line to shoot a one and one will be Trevor Atkins. And the free throw is no good. It's brought down though. And controlled by Kabul. They have the ball as it goes to Byerly on the left wing in front of the Tiger bench. Byerly trying to spin away from May. Goes back to Primenzon between the circles. 15 seconds to go, first quarter. Carmack staying with Primazon goes to Flanagan. Flanagan back to Primazon. Logan to the paint, stops, kicks it outside. Waiting for it there, Atkins. Atkins back to Primazon. Three seconds left to Flanagan for the three, and it is off the iron. No good. Connell with a rebound as time expires here in the first quarter. Salem Tigers trailer by eight as we end one quarter of play. 16 to eight. We'll come back in one minute. This is Tiger Basketball on KSMO Media. And welcome back, Salem High School Gymnasium. Don't forget to see Town & Country Insurance Associates for all of your insurance needs, commercial, personal, life, and health. For a quote, call Mike and the gang at 729-6624 or stop by inside the Town & Country Bank branch in Salem. Kabul with the inbound, quickly put up a three, no good. Barley with a rebound, and he'll be fouled there by, I believe, Connell. And that would be his second. And to the line will go Barley. Garrett reaching for the ball again, and Tigers been a little bit flat-footed here against the Kabul Bulldogs early on. Barley's free throw is no good, and Connell brings it down. Kabul one of two in that, or one of three in that first quarter. Salem one of two from the stripe. Pass goes across to Connell for a three. It's off the front of the iron, no good, and brought down by Barley. Byerly the other way, all the way down. Loses the ball, but gets it back. Now ball knocked away, still on his feet, taken there by Carmack. Carmack trying to get it off to May. And it'll be a tie-up ball, I believe, belonging to the Salem Tigers. So a turnover by Kabul. Artsel inbounded as Connell checks out. Just underway here in this, the second quarter, 16-8. Bulldogs, Conical. Back to Arts. Can we get to East of May? May pass, tipped away, goes to Morrison, out to Conkle. Conkle trying to get it back to Braden Carmack. Primazon read it, but couldn't keep it in bounds. Conkle to inbound it. Out on top, Carmack. Back to Conkle, open for the three, takes it. Pinballs around, will not go down. Brought down by May and got rid of it too quickly and battling underneath the basket for the ball. May and Arts and two other Bulldogs. And a foul's gonna be called on Salem, when you know it. On Josh Arts. So going to the line to shoot a one and one will be Josh Shockley. 16-8 our score, a minute two seconds into this, the second quarter. Shockley's free throw is no good, brought down by Morrison. Salem needs a, some kind of run here. In the corner here's Kunkel. 
Back out on top to Carmack, back to Gunner. For the three, it's no good, it's wide and a foul called. And there's gonna be a foul called, I believe, on Kabul. I should be on Byerly if I'm not mistaken. Peyton Byerly will have his first. Atkins checks out as Jacob Shockley comes back in the game. Inbound by Conkle, goes to Morrison. Morrison on the far right side. Has that ball stolen away by Kabul. Here they come right back. Here's Primazon. Primazon out on top to Flanagan, inside to Shockley, back to Flanagan, open for the three, takes it, it's off the iron, comes out high, and Flanagan gets his own rebound. Underneath, all alone is Shockley, and he scores. Jacob Shockley, after Flanagan got his own rebound on the three, and uh, loose shoelace there by Josh Arch, we're gonna let him tie it. Larson Collision Center in Salem has been serving the area for over 30 years. They can do free estimates for you, and all the work is guaranteed. Call Gary and the gang at 729-3915, Larson Collision Center. Here's Easton May with it. 6-10 to go in the half. Salem down by 10. Here's Morrison turning at the free throw line. The Arts in the right corner. Arts on the perimeter inside the Carmack. Spins, turns, nice move, and he lays it in. A little spin move by Carmack to get between two defenders, and it's an 18-10. Kabul lead. Primazan. That's the first basket of this second quarter for the Salem Tigers. Reverse layup misses. Brought down and controlled there by Shockley. And then he slides with it. And they're going to call a travel against Kabul. That is their fourth turnover. Primazan checks out. Atkins back in. They'll play basically six guys here. Congo back to May. May comes down from nine. His jumper's good. 18-12. Salem the last four points. As Atkins has it. Left side pass. Goes to Shockley. Now to Byerly. Back to Shockley. Gets the right side to Flanagan. Across to Atkins for the three. It's too short. Brought down by Arts. Arts gives it off to Carmack. Carmack in the offensive zone to Gunnar Conkle. Now to Morrison, his jumper up and off the iron. No good. Controlled there underneath by Trevor Atkins. And then Atkins throws the ball out of bounds right at the Kabul bench. A little confusion over there. Tigers watch Kabul commit their fifth turnover. Gunnar Conkle trying to inbound it. Does the arts in the corner back to Conkle. Out on top, Carmack left side beyond three to May. Down low to Arts again. Arts jump shot too short. Comes down in the hands of Atkins. He's got four rebounds now. Trevor brings it all the way into the offensive zone to Shockley for a three-pointer, and it's off the iron. Comes down high, and it's tipped out of bounds. Looks like Arts tipped it out, but they're going to say Kabul did. And Salem will take over. Never too early to start your tax planning. Don't forget to get in touch with tax masters to get those taxes done. Over 40 years' experience, call them at 7 Two nine three zero zero one, seven two nine three zero zero one. The Tigers travel with the ball again. Seven turnovers now for Salem in this first half. Salem in a half court defense. Get into Prim and Zahn. In the corner it goes. Waiting for it there is Atkins. Atkins back out on top. There's Barley. Back to Atkins. Atkins baseline jumper is off the iron. Comes down the hands of Shockley. Back to Primazon. Primazon moves outside. Goes inside to Atkins. Out to Shockley for the three. For the corner, it's good. Jacob Shockley now has eight. Two threes in this game. And it's a 21-12 game. Here's Gunnar Conkle. Out to Carmack, right at the top of the key. Over to Gunner, had to reach for it. Gunner down low, and Gunner called for a double dribble. Boy, Tigers just can't get anything going, and the passing a little bit off, and that just takes all the momentum away. A wide open man, but he has to reach for a pass and then pull it back to him, gets called for the double dribble. 3.52 to go in the corner. Here's Atkins for the Bulldogs. Comes back out to Quincy Flanagan. Now between the circles to Byerly, right side to Primazon. Shockley in the corner, waits for it, guarded there. Inside it goes to Atkins. Atkins turns, spins, a shot blocked there by Morrison. 
knocked out of bounds by the Bulldogs Atkins. Don't forget the Common Grounds Bistro at 300 Bay South Main Street is a proud supporter of your Salem Tigers. Don't forget breakfast or lunch at the Common Grounds Bistro. Call for takeout orders at 729-2912, the Common Grounds Bistro. Here's Conkle all the way down. Gets between two trees, flips it out to Carmack. Carmack to the paint, down, trying to drop it off down low, but it's stolen away by the Bulldogs. Here they come again. Down to Primazon, he missed the layup, and Arts knocked out of bounds. Also takes the ball out of bounds with him. Three seventeen to go in a half. Byerly will try and get it in. Does to Primazon in the corner. Out to Flanagan. Flanagan back in the corner. Atkins guarded there by Levi Smith, who's back in the ball game. Now to Primazon. Primazon giving it to Atkins to Byerly to Atkins to Byerly to Primazon. Primazon out to Flanagan in the corner. Shockley for another three, and it's good. Jacob Shockley has three threes, and Kabul now leading it by 12. Pass comes to Smith, down low to Morrison. Morrison turns, spins, short jumper, no good off to the side. Brought down by Shockley. Jacob's second rebound, pass down low to, to Shockley again for the three, and this one rims in. He's feeling it, and the Tigers, Coach Cardi has to call a timeout. He's got four threes, and Salem leave him alone. And he keeps burying him. 27 to 12 with 2.31 to go first half. We'll come back in 30 seconds. This is Tiger Basketball on KSMO Media. Hey, don't forget Conway Construction can do you a great job no matter if you need a new home or just a room added on or maybe concrete work, siding, wood, floors, tile, floors, decks. They can do it all. Call Randy at 247-6468, Conway Construction, LLC. Congle over to Levi Smith, now to Morrison. Outside it goes to Carmack. Carmack back to Lucas. Outside it goes to Smith. Levi with a three off the front of the rim. No good and taken down by Byerly. Barley the other way, and Flanagan will be fouled there by Levi, and that'll be his third foul. So Levi Smith with three fouls now here in this first half with still 2.11 to go. Flanagan to the line. Kabul 0 for 2 here in the second quarter, and the free throw's no good. Kabul in a double bonus right now. Only four team fouls on the Bulldogs. Sale with only four points in this second quarter. Free throw is good by Flanagan. Now one of four in this second quarter, and they are two of seven on the night. Gunnar Conkle between two guys to Morrison who walks with the ball. Even he. Ten turnovers for the Salem Tigers. Lucas backed up, moved two feet. Move that pivot foot, and you're going to get the call every time. 2.03 to go in this, the first half, and Salem down by 16. Primazon trying to get past Carmack. Braden steals it from him. Braden trying to spin by him, has the ball stolen right back. Covered up, tied up, belongs to Kabul. That is Salem's first steal, by the way, with 150 to go in the half. But they can't maintain it after Carmack took it. As Perizon will bring it up. Half-court defense by the Salem Tigers here in this SCA contest, first of the year. Perizon trying to drive in against May. Goes back out on top to Atkins. Atkins in the corner, Shockley. Shockley stops, trying to feed it inside. Fadeaway jumper. And a charge called on Shockley. That'll be his third. So Jacob Shockley with a push off. He'll check out. Josh Shockley back in. 
Salem needs a run, down by 16 here in this second quarter. Connell out on top to Gunner, going outside to Braden Carmack, all the way across to Connell. Back to Gunner Conkle, double team there, fires it to Carmack. Down low to Easton May. Easton has the ball stripped away, but a foul called on Kabul. That'll be their sixth team foul with a minute 13 to go, not a shooting foul. Foul is going to be called on Atkins, and that will be his second. Gunner Conkle to inbound it to Carmack. Carmack out on top, May. May to the free throw line. The ball's tipped away and stolen, and here comes the Bulldogs back. Long pass down to Primus on a shot, no good. Brought down by Carmack. And then he has the ball stolen right back. And here's Primus on in the offensive zone. His three, too short. Brought down by Morrison. Morrison is not on the scoreboard here in this first half. Pulls down his second rebound. Braden Carmack across to Connell. In the corner, Conkle back to Connell. Inside to Morrison, double team. Short jumper, too hard. Put down in the hands of Shockley. Josh Shockley stops, flips it back to Atkins. 26 seconds left. 28 12. Bulldogs pass right side to Primazon. Primazon trying to get away from Easton May. Flips the left side to Flanagan. Quincy back to Primazon. 14 seconds on the clock. He hands that off to Josh Shockley, giving it to Primazon in the corner. Byerly has it. Byerly with five seconds left underneath, laying it up and in is Josh Shockley. And time runs out in the half. 30 to 12, our score here at halftime. And it's been all Kabul here in this, the first half. Salem with only four points in that second quarter. 30-12 our score back in two and a half minutes with stats. This is Tiger Basketball on KSMO Media. We're back, Salem High School Gymnasium on this Makeup game night of the game from January 15th. That was actually a homecoming game, and that was snowed out. And so tonight is that makeup game. It's an SCA contest between the Tigers and the Bulldogs. It's been all Kabul in this one, 30 to 12, up through the first half. Tigers down on the board first on an Easton May jumper, but after that point, it's been all Kabul as the Tigers have just given the ball away way too many times on some careless turnovers. 13 of them in that first half. And the Bulldogs with five steals have capitalized on all five. They're 100% on their steals. They have scored on every single one of them. Well, that makes it kind of rough. Far as free throw shooting is concerned, two of seven for the Bulldogs. They have not done very well there, but the Tigers one of two in the game. The Bulldogs, though, have shot some threes. They have six of them in this first half. Four of those six are from Jacob Shockley, who has 14 points to lead everybody in the game. He's followed by Logan Primazon with seven, and then four points for Quincy Flanagan, three for Peyton Buck, uh, Byerly, and two for Josh Shockley. For the Salem Tigers, they have four points from Easton May, from Garrett Connell, and from Braden Carmack. Tigers' Levi Smith with three fouls. He uh, had to sit down at the end of that first half, and Jacob Shockley got his third foul with about a minute and 13 left to go in that first half, and so he ended up on the bench as the half came to a close. For the Kabul Bulldogs, they had six turnovers, and as we mentioned, they had five steals. Salem had two steals in that first half. So pretty much a one-sided affair for the Kabul Bulldogs in that first half as they got uh, the lead in the first quarter of 16 to eight, and they added to it by 10 more, 14 to four in that second quarter. You know, Southwest Baptist University's campus in Salem provides quality higher education close to home. If you're a resident of Dan County or surrounding areas, contact the Mission Counselor Chris Welch to find out more about becoming a student. It's 729-7071. Uh, That's 729-7071. And Duncan Family Chiropractic at 401 West Scenic Rose Boulevard can handle your chiropractic needs. See Dr. Amber for Juice Plus. Find out more about that. 
Duncan Family Chiropractic. Call her at 729-2321, a proud supporter of your Salem Tigers. And also, Calvin Malone of American Family Insurance, a former Salem Tiger player himself. He can help you with all lines of insurance at American Family. Give him a call at number 729-5165 or stop by 1104 South Main Street in Salem in the Crossroads Shopping Center, American Family Insurance. We are at halftime. Don't forget tomorrow night the Salem Tigers will be at Licking for the Cat Classic. We'll be there to bring it to you here on KSMO Radio and online at ksmoradio.com. That will be an audio stream only tomorrow from Licking, Missouri. So again, tonight we have the video stream. Tomorrow will be audio stream only, and that will be from Licking. It's the Salem Tigers and the Licking Wildcats, the Cat Classic. Friday night at Licking, and we're there to bring it to you here on KSMO Radio, 1340 AM. Our Lady Tigers had a tough loss against Licking in the Cat Classic here, 56-52. They're in Sullivan tonight. We're hoping that they're having some success. They will be in action again next week, and we'll be there to bring you Lady Tiger basketball next week right here on KSMO Radio on Monday and Thursday. So we hope you'll be listening in uh, for the Lady game next week. Those are SCA games, I believe. I have to rely on my handy-dandy schedule here uh, to remember. But uh, we know that the rest of the boys' games until the last week will be all SCA games. And, yes, the next week, both girls' games against Mountain View Liberty and Mountain Grove will be aired right here on KSMO, and they will be video streamed right here on 1340. And they on uh, www.ksmradio.com. So lots of video coming your way and lots of basketball, too, with four games next week. Well, we hope you'll enjoy that right here on KSMO Radio. No blues tonight, by the way, as a Vegas night did test positive for COVID. So that game has been postponed, not rescheduled yet in any way, shape, or form. So we'll let you know when that does happen. We got the second half coming your way in two minutes. We'll come back on KSMO Media here at 1340 AM and on KSMORadio.com. Don't forget Jake Conway Concrete and Excavation LLC where they can do foundation and flat work for you. Jake has a mini excavator and skid steer, so give him a call, 247-4174 for your concrete needs. That's Jake Conway Concrete and Excavation LLC. Salem inbounds it as Levi Smith does to Gunnar Conkle. We're underway. Second half, Salem down by 18 to start this second half. Pass comes in to Garrett Connell outside to Smith. Open for the three, takes it. It's off the rim, no good. And tipped out of bounds by Braden Carmack as Atkins brought it down. Don't forget Gontramard at 1204 East Rose Boulevard has an outstanding deli. Get your fried chicken, catfish, chicken tenders. They got an outstanding collection of deli sandwiches that they can make for you as well. Deli meats and cheeses galore. See them at Country Mart in the deli or call 729-3455 to get their daily special. Quincy Flanagan has it in front of the Kabul bench. Inside to Shockley. Shockley turns, spins back to Flanagan. Now on top, Barley, left side, Primazon. Primazon, guarded there by Carmack. Flips it to Flanagan, top of the key. Goes down low to Atkins. Nice catch to bring it back inside. Now Shockley shot blocked there by Morrison. Ball loose on the floor. Taken there by Barley. Gets that up and misses the shot. And a blocking foul called on Salem. As Morrison blocked it, then Tiger started to head up the court, but nobody got the ball. So Byerly will go to the line as Connell picks up foul number three here early on in this third quarter. Byerly 0 for 1 from the stripe, misses that one. He has another one coming. Peyton Byerly, a senior, as are all the players on the floor for the Bulldogs. This one pinballs around, but finally trickles through. 31 12 is. Conkle will bring it in. Pulls up a little bit. Now back to Carmack. Guarded there by Flanagan. Back to Gunner Conkle. Left side pass Smith. Back to Gunner. Back to Smith. Levi Open didn't take the shot. Now to Carmack. He does take the three. He's got it. Braden Carmack sinks that three. He's got seven. The Tigers down by 16 with 6.50 to go in this, the third quarter. 
lot of game left here to go as Byerly in front of the Bulldog bench goes in the corner to Shockley. Shockley, who has four threes in that first half, goes back to Byerly. Now to Flanagan in the left corner to Atkins. Atkins trying to go baseline, kicks it back to Quincy Flanagan. Now to Primenzon on the left side, back to Flanagan in the right corner. Shockley alone for that three, and it's off the edge, no good. Atkins with a rebound, turns and spins, and a foul called on Garrett Connell. Oh, they're actually going to call that one on Gunnar Conkle. And the free throw is good by Atkins. Trevor, that's his first point of the game. And he's got another one coming. This one is also good. Thirty-three, fifteen, our score. Gunnar Conkle back to Connell. Now into the offensive zone as Smith got it back to Gunnar. Now back to Smith. Top of the key is Braden Carmack. Left side to Gunnar Conkle. He'll put up a quick three. Pinball's in. That one in and out. Finally rolled through. And Gunnar with his first points of the night. Five fifty-five to go. Third quarter. With the ball right now, Byerly in the corner, Flanagan. Flanagan, outside, walks with the ball. Flanagan went to set and pass, and as he did so, he traveled with it. Bulldogs' first turnover of the second half. And if you're looking for insurance, don't forget Farm Bureau Insurance with Willie Strader, your agent. At 1414 West Indy Cruz Boulevard, call him at 729-4941 for all of your insurance needs. That's Farm Bureau. Here's Morrison, he misses the shot, comes down to Connell, kicks it out. To Smith, to Gunner Congo for a three. It's too short and taken down by Byerly. And then a charge called on Byerly on a push off. So Byerly with the rebound and then pushes off. He gets his second foul. Tigers to inbound it. Into Morrison. Morrison with three guys over him. Can't get it to go down. It's taken underneath by Atkins the other way. All the way down the floor, Atkins lays it up, misses, brought down by Connell. Atkins was too far underneath the middle of the basket. Connell the other way, giving it to Gunner Conkle. Now left side pass to Smith, back to Gunner. Inside it goes to Connell. Now to Braden Carmack from 10. It's no good. Hits the rim, comes down into the hands of Shockley. And he goes right side to Atkins. 33-18 our score. Shockley open for another three. And it's off the front of the rim. No good. Brought down by Connell. Garrett with seven rebounds in this game. Off to Smith. Back to Gunner Conkle. Right side to Braden Carmack. Back to Gunner. Goes inside to, to Connell. Right at the free throw line. Trying to drive in. Short jumper. It's good. Garrett has six. The Tigers within 13 with 4.25 to go, third quarter. Walking it up, Josh Shockley taking his time, getting it inside to Byerly. Byerly trying to dance his way through. Can't, fires it back to Quincy Flanagan, top of the key. Quincy fires it back to Byerly, right side. Kicks it outside to Shockley, going baseline. Shockley lays it up and in. Thirty-five twenty with four minutes to go in this, the third quarter. As Gunner Conkle goes left side to Smith. Smith back to Gunner. Gunner back to Smith. Down inside to Morrison. Morrison off the glass. It won't go. Gets his own rebound. Tries it again. Too short. And he'll get a foul for going over the back. Lucas with three opportunities at it. Two opportunities at it. Then picks up his third foul. That's the kind of game it's been. He had 22 points against Kabul at Kabul in that game, and he has been held off the score sheet tonight. Salem will drop back in a half court defense. Don't forget the Bank of Salem, your locally owned community bank since 1883, can help you with all your banking needs. Drop by either location, 100 West 4th Street or 1001 South Main. The Bank of Salem, their name says it all, member FDIC. Shockley outside to brother Josh. It does not go. And brought down by Connell. He is fouled there by Byerly. 
That would be his third if that is the call, and it is. A lot of misses for both teams in this game. But Kabul does have a 15-point lead with still 3.29 to go. So they'll be going a run. They could close this gap. because Neither team shooting well here in this second half so far. Conkle, right side pass to Carmack. Carmack back to Conkle, inside to Garrett Connell from the free throw line outside to Smith for a three. It's good. <laughs> Levi Smith in his first of the night. That three makes it a 12-point Kabul lead. Here's Primazon. Left side pass to Flanagan. Now inside to Shockley, down low to Atkins. He lost it, but goes right to Primazon. Primazon trying to go back. Primazon guarded there by Connell, finally gets it to go back and trying to get to Josh Shockley, but it's tipped out of bounds by Braden Carmack. That was very close to a five count. The official didn't call it. And Josh Shockley will get into Primazon with 2.52 to go in the third quarter. He goes right back to Josh Shockley, right in front of the Kabul bench. He moves out towards center court, hanging on to it. Now to Flanagan. Flanagan right between the circles, moves to his left, back to his right. Trying to get to Shockley, stolen away by Carmack, and a foul there by Quincy as he grabbed onto him after the turnover. Carmack went straight up, blocked that ball down, and came away with a steal, and Flanagan, to keep him from getting an easy basket, fouled him. Quincy's first. Each team with three fouls in this second half. Two minutes, 30 seconds to go, third quarter. Carmack inside to Garrett Connell, outside to Smith. Thought about the three, and then he'll be fouled there by Josh Shockley. Two twenty-six remaining. Flanagan will check out, and coming in the ball game for the first time for Kabul will be Trey Atkins. Conkle. Getting it into Connell, out on top. Smith for another three, it's good. <laughs> Levi Smith makes it a nine point ball game. As Primazon brings it back. Primazon moving to his right, pass there to Atkins. Atkins inside Shockley, Shockley kicks it outside to Josh Shockley, down low Primazon from nine, too short. And then he's fouled there by Morrison and he'll shoot two after the fact. That'd be Morrison's fourth foul. Or are they gonna call it on Conkle? They are gonna call it on Conkle. Thought they might call that on Morrison because he was right there with him. Instead, they give it on Gunner coming from the backside. The free throw is good by Primazon. Logan with eight now in the game. Salem Tigers have not had a free throw since the first quarter. He made them both. Back to an 11-point Kabul lead as Levi Smith, who's got six in this third quarter, will bring it up with two minutes exactly on the clock. Levi, right side pass to Carmack. Brewers on right there to Conco, open for the three. It's good. Gunner with his second three of this third quarter and Salem down by eight with a minute 45 to go third quarter. Primazon, right side pass to Atkins, goes in the corner, and Atkins is pushed there by Connell. You've got Trey Atkins and Trevor Atkins. So Connell will pick up his fourth foul. He'll have to check out. Looked like an innocent enough play, but it must have bumped him enough that the official deemed it a foul. The inbound comes to Shockley, a quick long three. It's off the iron, no good, and brought down there by Smith. Smith the other way to Carmack. Carmack by Shockley, underneath to Morrison, off the glass and in. Count the basket as Lucas gets on the board. And Salem down by six with a minute 22 to go. Third quarter, SCA play here at the Salem High School. Trey Atkins down the corner, Shockley. Shockley trying to get inside. Fires it back to Trey Atkins. He'll put up a three, and it rims out. No good. Gunner Conkle brings it down. He's double teamed. Gunner trying to get out of it. Does. Now to May. May to the paint, to the hole. Scoops it up. No good. Brought down by Trey Atkins. Good idea. Just did not work. 
Hack is all the way down to Brother Trevor. He tries to lay it up. It won't go. Morrison brings it down quickly the other way to Carmack. Carmack trying to go baseline. Stops. Back to May. May takes a 10-footer. Too short. And underneath there is Trevor Atkins. Wide open shot. And he didn't really come close. 30 seconds to go. 37-31. Primazon to Trey Atkins. Trying to get that ball to Shockley. It's stolen away by the Salem Tigers. Back they come the other way. Gunnar Conkle with 19 seconds. Right side pass to Carmack. Guard there. And foul called underneath. Well, I should say, I'm sorry, three second violation underneath. The Tigers turned the ball over again. Just their first turnover this second half. Came with 11 seconds to go. Primazon has it. Left side pass, Trey Atkins. Atkins all the way across to Shockley. Shockley in front of the Kabul bench. Shockley down, short jumper, it's good. Had the buzzer and count the bucket and the foul. That one kind of hurts. The Tigers had the ball and they turned the ball over and down comes Kabul and they score. For Jacob Shockley, his first basket, the foul called on Braden Carmack. Thirty-nine, thirty-one. One with point nine seconds to go, and Shockley's free throw is no good. Brought down by Morrison, and he throws the ball into the stage area after. Bringing down the rebound. We played three, 39-31 Kabul. We'll come back in a minute. This is Tiger Basketball on KSMO Media. We're ready to start the fourth quarter. Quincy Flanagan back to Primazon as we get ready to get this one going again. He's in his own zone. Primazon inside to Shockley, right side pass to Byerly. Byerly back to Primazon right between the circle, stops, goes back to Byerly in the corner. There's Atkins for a three, and it's good. Trevor Atkins hits the three. Tigers again are down by double digits, down by 11. They had chances to close that six-point gap. That's as close as they've been since the first quarter. Now Morrison outside to Carmack. Carmack getting it to Conkle. Back to Carmack. Carmack outside it goes to, to Smith. Had trouble with it. Back to Conkle. Salem will reset. Back to Smith. In the corner, Easton May. Now to Morrison. Morrison off the glass. It's good. 42-33, Bulldogs on top. Seven minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Earlier tonight, the JV lost in double overtime, 43-39. So that one very close game all the way through. Here's Byerly, and he'll be fouled by Carmack, and that will put Byerly at the line to shoot a one-and-one -one as the Tigers now guilty of their sixth foul. For Brayton, his second. Barley, oh, one of three from the stripe. Kabul has 14 free throws, Salem two in the game. This free throw is no good, brought down by Morrison. Tigers need to take advantage of those misses. Down by nine here at KSMO Radio 1340 and the media. The jump shot by Morrison is good. He's now got six, and the Tigers down by seven with six and a half to go, fourth quarter. Primazon of the Bulldogs taking his time over the timeline, trying to get away from Carmack. Fires it left side to Byerly. Byerly, right by the Tiger insignia, drops the ball. Wants to go pick it up, but can't. Gives it to Primazon as he blocked off the Tiger player. Now Flanagan for a three, and it's off the front of the iron. No good. Taken under control there by Atkins. Trevor Atkins in the corner to Byerly. Byerly underneath the basket, turns, spins to Primazon. Partially blocked there by Morrison. Then he brings down the rebound. Now over to Braden Carmack. 
Now to Gunnar Conkle. Conkle on the baseline, backs up, gets away from Flanagan. Now to Morrison. From the free throw line, a jumper won't go, but he traveled with the ball again, shifted those feet. Five fifty-five to go as Tigers in a half court defense. Let Primazon bring it up. Barley goes to Shockley in the corner. Shockley double team fires it down low. They kick it underneath the Primazon ball tip to take it back and banked off of Gunner Conkle by Atkins with 5.41 to go. KH Auto Supply, your parts of the auto parts store of Center South Main is offering curbside service. You can contact them at 7296667 for all the parts you need. The inbound to Atkins all alone, and he scores. Trevor Atkins now with seven, and the lead goes back to nine. Here's Gunnar Conkle. Conkle into Morrison, outside to Smith. Levi down low to May, back to Morrison. Morrison in, trying to bank it in. Can't get his own rebound, puts it back up and in. Seven point, Kabul Lee with 5.15 to go. Logan Primazan. One of the seven seniors on this team. They go in the corner to Shockley. Now to Atkins, down low to Primazon. He lays it in, and then the foul afterwards by Morrison. No look pass there. Nice pass to Primazon. They've practiced that to that low post, and Morrison got caught checking out the pass and then turned and committed the fourth foul after the basket. So Primazon at the line. Makes the free throw. Logan now with 12. As Braden Carmack inside to Morrison, down low intended for Easton May, and the ball was stolen away by the Bulldogs. Just their first steal of the second half. Pass down to Atkins, his jumper off the iron will not go. Ball tipped and controlled by Kabul underneath the basket, and gonna be a foul called on Salem. Salem had two chances to get that rebound and just could not get it under control with 4.38 to go, 47-37. And the foul called on Easton May, his second. And that will put Byerly back at the line to shoot two. Easton checks out. Josh Shockley back in the game. Byerly. Free throw is no good. Morrison brings it down. Morrison now with nine rebounds in the game. Connell back in, as we mentioned. Conkle left side pass to Levi Smith into Morrison. Jump shot no good off the side. Brought down by Byerly. Byerly quickly the other way into the offensive zone in front of the Kabul bench. Goes back to Josh Shockley. Guarded there by Carmack. Back to Byerly in the corner. There's Jacob Shockley trying to open up a three. Couldn't, now goes back to Barley underneath. They bank it in, does Josh Shockley. Some good passing there by Kabul. They lead it by 12 again with four minutes to go. Salem got it to within six, then turned the ball over and have not come back yet. Conkle with a long three, it's too short, and Morrison can't save it. The Tigers went on their run, got the ball after being down by 18 at halftime. Got it to within six in that third quarter, but the Bulldogs have extended that lead back out to 12. With the ball, Trevor Atkins. Atkins in front of his own bench, backs it out, trying to get away from Carmack. Comes to the paint, now circles back out to Primazon with 3.33 to go. Now to Josh Shockley underneath. Josh has that ball taken away by Connell. He just reached in there and stole it. Five turnovers for Kabul in this second half. Here's the pass to Smith. Down low to Morrison. Morrison off the glass and in. Back to a 10-point deficit with 3.12 to go. Again, Salem needs a run here as time is starting to run out. Here's Primazon back the other way. Throws the ball out of bounds as Shockley wasn't ready for it. Belongs to the Salem Tigers with 3.01 left on the clock. Don't forget the Salem Memorial District Hospital, your critical access hospital, is there for you in your time of need. Every patient, every encounter, every time. Inbound pass to Connell, now to Smith for a three. It's way off line. 
no good and brought down out of bounds off of Levi, I believe. Probably hit his foot out of bounds. Three there would have made it interesting. Tigers missed it. Inbound comes to Shockley. Shockley has that ball stolen away, basically, but the Tigers can't get it. Down to Primazon. Primazon will just pull it back. Salem had the ball but could not get possession of it. Here it again, they tie it up, and a possession arrow will favor the Salem Tigers. So a turnover by the Bulldogs. And the Tigers get the steal there, and then they hold on to it. 2.49 to go. They need to hit some shots here, get that gap back down. Smith to Conkle. Conkle into Conkle, back to Smith, down low to Morrison. Morrison off the glass, no good. Got his own rebound, put it back up and in. He's got 10 in this fourth quarter, but the Tigers are still down by eight. Here's Permazon the other way. Permazon jump shot, no good. And a foul called on Morrison, I believe. And that would be his fifth if that is the call. Or it could be on Connell from coming back from behind. And Garrett's going to foul out. Couldn't tell who made contact with Primazon. But it's Connell, and he'll finish with six points and eight rebounds. Forty-nine, forty-one. as Logan will go to the line to shoot. Two, he is five of six from the stripe. As Quincy Flanagan will come back in the game. He'll come in for Peyton Byerly, give him a break. 227 on the clock. It's an eight-point Kabul lead. As Primazon's free throw is good. He's got one more back to a nine point lead. It's three possessions and he misses that one. Brought down there by Haven and the ball's knocked out of his hands and it's tied up again and a possession error will favor the Bulldogs. So Haven, Colin Haven brought down the rebound but then wasn't strong with the ball and was knocked right out of his hands by the Bulldogs for yet another turnover. And here we're gonna keep it right here. 50 to 41 as the Bulldogs burn a timeout. We tell you about Town and Country Bank. They're a locally owned community bank providing dedicated personal and business financial solutions. They believe they can offer smart, friendly solutions and build a lasting relationship. Town and Country Bank at 1009 East Scenic Rivers Boulevard and 400 West Scenic Rivers Boulevard. Don't forget, tonight we're supposed to have Blues hockey, but that game has been postponed due to COVID-19 on a Vegas Knights player. That game has not been rescheduled, but no game tonight following this one on KSMO Radio. And Salem will be at Licking tomorrow night, taking the Wildcats at the Big Cat Classic at Licking. Six o'clock JV action, varsity game to follow. We'll bring that varsity game to you here on KSMO Media. 50 to 41, the Bulldogs will inbound it from the Salem Tiger offensive zone. I should say the, the uh, Wildcat. Wildcat, got that on my mind already. The Bulldog offensive zone. Here's Primazon outside to Shockley for a three. It's off the rim, no good. Gunner Conkle brings down that rebound. Gunner with six points in this game. Gives it off to Carmack. Carmack, all the way across it goes to Smith. Smith down low, short jumper, no good. It's taken underneath by Atkins. Long pass to Flanagan. Flanagan lays it up, misses the shot, brought down by Smith. Smith then lost it to Underneath, and a foul's gonna be called as the Tigers again turn it over after getting the rebound. Foul called on Gunnar Conkle. Tigers twice have gotten rebounds here in the last 40 seconds and then turned the ball over. Primazon's free throw is no good. Still a nine point Bulldog lead. 146 to go. Next free throw, and it is good. Inbound to Carmack, now to Conkle. Conkle, cross to Carmack. Carmack on the baseline, kicks it outside to Smith, alone for the three, off the rim, no good. Tipped around and brought under control by whom? Nobody. Ball loose on the floor, and they're going to tie it up. 
I believe it'll be a possession arrow and it will favor Kabul if it is. With a minute 32 to go, 10 point Bulldog lead. Pass goes in the right corner to Atkins. Atkins trying to come all the way back across the floor. He does into the offensive zone. Fires it in the corner to Josh Shockley. Josh down low to Jacob and he is fouled by Gunnar Conkle as he goes to shoot. 121 to go. Well, Tigers with way too many guys with four and five fouls. Conkle with four, a five fouled out of the game. They've got Morrison with four, now Conkle with four. As a free throw is good by Jacob Shockley. He's got 17 in the game. He had 14 in the first half as he made four threes. Not hit any here in the second half. Misses that free throw. Brought down by Carmack. Carmack the other way to the paint, to the hole, off the glass, and rims in. Count the basket and the foul. Ball just sat there and spun. Didn't look like it wanted to go anywhere. And finally does trickle through and the foul called on the Bulldogs. And Braden will go to the line. As Haven will check in, that foul was called by the way on Jake. of Shockley, his fourth. He had three going into halftime. And Carmack with nine. will try for his 10th point here and first free throw for Salem since the first quarter. Eight point Kabul lead, 113 to go. Pass goes to Atkins. Atkins fires it to Flanagan. Flanagan down to Josh Shockley. Back to Flanagan. Back to Josh Shockley in the corner. Back to Flanagan. Trying to fire the ball in, knocked out of bounds, and in the trash can by Levi Smith. That should count for 10. <laughs> it doesn't, but it should. A heck of a deflection into a trash can. That's tough to do. Pass goes in the corner to Shockley, and Shockley is going to call a foul on Levi Smith. That's, that's a tough call because he just kind of took the ball off his wrist and He'll pick up the foul, which will be his fourth. Shockley will shoot two here as the Bulldogs are in the double bonus again. It's an eight-point lead for Kabul, and that free throw is no good. Just 59.4 seconds left to go. Tigers are still within striking distance, but they've got to hit the shots, and they've got to get the rebound if he misses here. Jacob Shockley's free throw is good. It is still a three possession game. As they get it to Smith, Tigers got to move it quickly and then the foul called. And that's a good break for Salem as that ball would have been stolen away but a foul is going to be called on Atkins. But Salem will just inbound it again. That's only the six team foul. So the inbound to Carmack. Carmack. To his right, fires it to Conkle, open for the three, takes it, it's wide, no good. Morrison with a rebound. Morrison stops, trying to get the shot off, and it will not go down, and a foul is called. Well, Morrison at the free throw line. It's a nine point lead with 47 seconds to go. Lucas will shoot two. And the first one, no good. Haven checks in for Easton May. Morrison, another opportunity here. And this one also no good and brought down by Shockley and he's taken down. And a foul is going to be called either on Haven or on Smith. I'm not sure which. It's going to be on Smith to Levi will foul out. He has six points and a couple of rebounds and a timeout called by Coach Cardi with 45.8 
seconds left. 53-44, Kabul on top. Let's take a one-minute break and come back. This is Tiger Basketball on KSMO Media. And don't forget, uh, here at KSMO Radio, on Saturday afternoon, it will be Salem Tigers. I'm sorry, it will be the Missouri Tigers and TCU. That's Saturday afternoon. That's right here on KSMO 1230 with that tip-off, Missouri Tigers and TCU. Free throw is up and no good by Shockley. This will be the 11th free, I'm sorry, the 13th free throw in this fourth quarter for the Bulldogs. And that one is good. That makes it a little bit rougher now. It's a 10-point lead with 45 seconds. Carmack for Salem. Carmack to the paint, to the hole, lays it up and in. And a timeout called by Coach Cardi with 38.5 seconds left. We'll take a 30-second break and come back. This is Tiger Basketball, and you're listening to it watch again on KSMO Media. SCA conference game, Salem Tigers will be playing SCA ball pretty much the most of the month of February, and that'll all get underway next week on Tuesday as they'll be on the road uh, for two straight games. The Tigers will be on uh, February 2nd at Willow Springs, and then on Friday, next Friday the 5th, they'll be at Thayer to take on the Bobcats. Both games can be heard on KSMO Radio, 1340 a.m. and online at ksmoradio.com. Right now, it's full court press time for the Salem Tigers as the Bulldogs will try and get it in. Primazon flips it into Shockley, back to Primazon as he breaks the press into the offensive zone. Lost the ball, stolen by the Tigers. And here comes Carmack, 30 seconds left. The Tigers really have to hustle here. And Carmack comes in and he's fouled there in route, I think by Flanagan. So Carmack will go to the line to shoot a one and one for Flanagan. That is his second foul. 54-46. If Brain can hit them both, it'll bring Salem back to within two possessions. And 26.2 seconds is time. And he's going to be shooting free throws with the clock stop, but he has to get them both. Braden's first one on the way. It's good. Braden has another one coming. And this one is no good. Brought down by Josh Arts. And they'll say he went over the back. And that'll put Kabul back at the line. He went over the back of Josh Shockley. So Josh Arts with his second foul. And Shockley to the line. Seven point lead by Kabul. 25.7 seconds left. The Bulldogs backing away from the line. Free throw is up and good. Josh Shockley now at seven. And his next one is no good. Brought down by Arts. Off the con in the corner. Here's Easton May. Puts up the three, trying to bank it in. No good. Ball tip brought down by Shockley. Down the other way to Primazon. 13 seconds left. Down to Flanagan. Flanagan doesn't even dare go into shoot. Just pulls it out back to Shockley. Down to Primazon, down to six seconds left. Now they go on top to Atkins. Primazon stands there, and this one's over. 
the Bull Bulldogs beat the Salem Tigers by a final score of 55 to 47. And the Tigers fall to two and 14 on the season, 0 and 1 in the SCA. We'll come back in three minutes with some stats for you when we return. This is Tiger Basketball, and you're listening to it and watching it on KSMO Media. Salem Tigers lose at 55-47 to the Kabul Bulldogs here in this first SCA game of the year. And, of course, most of the month of February will all be SCA games, and Tigers will be on the road with two key ones next week, as a matter of fact. But we'll talk about this one first. Uh, Tigers got off to a good start. They got to 2 nothing lead, but after that it was pretty much Kabul all the way. 16-8 in the first quarter is what they led. They dominated the second quarter, leading it by 10 14 to 4 to build an 18 point lead. And the Tigers then responded with a 19 to 9 third quarter advantage over Kabul to bring it back to within eight, which was the, exactly the difference at the end of the first half. The Tigers couldn't change anything in the second uh, part of that second half as the fourth quarter was 16 16, and the Tigers just could not catch back up. They lose at 55 47, 2 and 13 uh, on the year, taking that 2 and 14 on the year. Now, after that loss tonight, 0-1 in the SCA. Kabul was led by Jacob Shockley with 19 points. Logan Primason had 14. He was followed up by Trevor Atkins with 9, 7 by Josh Shockley, and then 4 points each by Quincy Flanagan and Peyton Byerly. The rebounder for Kabul was Trevor Atkins and Peyton Barley, each with five, four for Jacob Shockley, two each for Josh Shockley and Quincy Flanagan, a one for Trey Atkins in the game. Kabul was seven of, I'm sorry, seven of 15 in that fourth quarter from the free throw line, 14 of 29 on the night. They finished with 15 turnovers and seven steals. The Salem Tigers, by the way, had nobody foul out for Kabul. Brayden Carmack led Salem scores with 13, followed by Lucas Morrison with 12, all coming in the second half. Six points each for Levi Smith, Garrett Connell, and Gunnar Conkle, and four points for Easton May in the game. Leading rebounder was Morrison with 11, eight by Garrett Connell, and then followed up by three each by Conkle and Brayden Car Carmack, two by Josh Arts and two by Levi Smith, one for Easton May in the game and one for Colin Haven. Salem Tigers only had seven free throws the entire game. Had one of two in the first quarter, two of five in the second, uh, in the fourth quarter, and three of seven in the game overall. They had 18 turnovers and seven steals in the game. Following out of the game was Levi Smith as well as Garrett Connell in the contest for the Salem Tigers, who again, they fall to a record of two and 14 after the loss to the Kabul Bulldogs here tonight. When we come back, we'll set up uh, the upcoming games for you here on KSMO Radio and uh, 1340, as well as our stream games. So we stick around for that. That's coming your way after this three-and-a-half-minute break. This is Tiger Basketball on KSMO Media.